And it said, our hands will do what? Thy hand shall be at the neck of thine enemies. Because think of Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. Think of all the movement, Denmark Vesey. All of them rose up right here in the land of the enemy with their hand and their necks fighting for the freedom of their people. That's what we do. The tribe of Judah will be always against their oppressor and we will fight always. Right. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 30. And let's do I want to read 21. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna read. I don't see too many people with crosses wearing around here. Read that. If you if I don't if you don't mind me asking, what's y'all race? You don't know. You say you don't know. That's actually not a problem because God said His people wouldn't know. God actually said His people don't know where they really really come from. Right. So just because you don't look as dark as me doesn't mean you're not an Israelite. Right. Because if you match the Bible, how y'all doing? If I ask y'all, watch this. What's y'all race? They don't know either. Y'all don't, they don't know either, but you stopped and actually literally turned around. What just happened? They kept walking. I'm going to read a scripture to you, and I'm going to show you that that's in the Bible that God people would do. They would say they don't know, and a lot of them would keep on walking and never stop to hear what God has to say. We're reading the Bible. All this history in Charleston, our people will come here to look at, hey, well, where did the slaves come? This is a slave market behind you. We'll come here to get this history, but then what were those people called? So now let's read that. Isaiah 30. Stay where you at, and I want to read 21. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 21. Uh -huh. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee. It said that our people will hear a word behind them. You will face that way. And I yeah. Hey, turn around. Let me, let me ask y'all a question. So it said you will hear a word behind you, just like they did while they walked. Read. Say, this is the way. We're going to say this is the way. No one teaches us the truth about the Bible. Read. Walk ye in it. Walk in God's way. And the commandments, the Bible is full of commandments. Am I right? It's over 613. They say it's only 10. But it's 613 commandments in the Bible. Did you know that? Now, now like today, you knew? You knew. So see, he knew, but you didn't know. So now, so this says, so read on. When ye turn to the right. So when you turn to your right hand. And when you turn to the left. And when you turn to the left. Read on. Ye shall defile also the covering of the graven image. So now what we've seen is our people walk by. We said, hey, look, this is the way. And they kept going. Some people will stop. But then some people, you ever seen people wear the crosses on their neck and stuff like that all the time? So this says, look, while you're turning left and right and people are telling you this is the way, y'all would wear different idols on your neck. And we're going to read what they look like. Read. Ye shall defile also the covering of the graven images of what? Of silver. Of silver. What ain't it, ain't it silver Jesus pieces that people wear? God knows what he created. <laughs> he knows what he created. Read on. And the ornament of the molten images of gold. And of gold. Of gold. Of gold. So people wear silver and gold idols around their neck. Read on. Thou shall cast them away. We should throw those idols off our neck. That's why we don't wear no Jesus piece while we standing up here. Why? I would never do that because if Christ was killed on the cross, right? That's what he was killed on, right? What if he was shot with a gun? Well, our people didn't wear the gun around their neck? <laughs> no. No. But they'll wear the cross because they made it like this city is full of churches to say this is people kiss it. They do the little thing like they like the Catholic church. And the Catholic Church said, let's do worship on Sunday. But the Jesus in the Bible said, let's worship today on Sabbath day, right. which is Saturday. So who's following the Bible? 
Who's following Christ to be a Christian means Christ-like, am I right? I'm asking you, sir. Christian? Yeah, that means Christ-like, right? So we got to do what Christ did, right? Now, in the Bible, Christ went into his temple and beat up everybody with a whip because they were selling and buying on the Sabbath day. No. That's the Jesus in the Bible. Because Christ said, don't break the Sabbath day. No buying, no selling, no cooking, no working. And that's what we must do. No, 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 you're good. Yeah, absolutely. I got the flyer. Check it out. Where you at? Read on some more. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 22. Read. Ye shall defile also the covering of the graven images uh -huh. of silver uh -huh. and the ornament of thy molten images of gold. Read. And thou shalt cast them as a mistress call. So every last one of you walking around here with Jesus pieces on your neck. God said those are menstruous cloths around your neck. Our people are walking around with a tampon around their neck, and God says he hate it. Right. But our people will not change it. Give me Hosea 4 and 6. Hosea 4 and 6. Let's get that, because our people, we have to wake up and stop acting like we everybody else. You're not everybody else. Right. You're the real people of God. You got it? Yes, sir. Read the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. Read. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God's people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. We do not know God. We do not know what he wants us to do. But we say we love him. And you cannot possibly love God if you don't do what he said. God says that himself. God says that himself. Read on. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. So because we reject God, read on. I will also reject thee. God said he will reject us. That's why this place will burn. Because in this land, they do not teach us knowledge. They do not teach us God. They teach us lies. And God said he's going to turn his back. That's why those bombs overseas are pointed right to this place. Right. Read. That thou shalt be no priest. To me. And now we are not priests to God because we won't do what he said. Read on. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. We have forgotten our law and we forgot them all. Right. Y'all pull over and come talk to us. We're teaching history out of the Bible. How you doing, mother? Can we talk to you for a few minutes? What did he say? Yes, sir. About what? They're just speaking about a bunch of different things. You know, okay. Whether it was Juneteenth or the Apocrypha or whatever. But okay. I was, I was actually uh, explaining to him that, you know, I'm not new to it. I understand everything you guys are talking so about. So you know you're an Israelite? Yes, I do. So what tribe are you from? I don't know the tribe. Now, now and that's, that that's why we're here. What's your race? Black. Okay, so-called African-American? So-called. So-called, because right. that's not real. We're not from Africa. No, we are from... Not all of us. Mm, all, all of, of everything are? started in Africa. True? Okay, so everybody right. came from there. Right. Now, Africa was not called the land of Africa in the Bible. Okay, it was right. called Ham or Kim. See what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what it was called. So now Africa was conquered by a man, Leo Scipio Africanus, and he named it after Africa. he conquered Hannibal, who was a Jew. He yeah. conquered Hannibal and then renamed it Africa. Just like America was conquered by Amerigo Vespucci, now it's called America. Yeah, now right. we say we're African American. We come from two white people when we say that. Yeah, I don't say that though. Right. So now, because you said you you don't know which tribe you're so-called, let's go to. Can we prove which tribe you're from? A few minutes to prove it. How long? I don't know. Five minutes. Yeah. Five All right. Minutes. Let's get it. Genesis 49. Let's read it. The book of the book of Genesis. What's your race? African American, so-called as well. And I say so-called because that's not a real race. I know. I'm older than the term African-American, so me and you yeah, can't possibly be yeah, So then, so what's your race? That's a black, okay. No, that's a color, but we say that to say we got melanin in our skin. Right. So read that. The book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse eight. We're both, all three of us, matter of fact, yeah, all three of us are from the tribe of Judah standing right here except him, he's from Levi. Well, oh, Reuben, I'm sorry. Northern Kingdom brother, but you wouldn't think he was an Indian looking at him. All the Indians used to look like this until they got conquered. Then his place was called Americo. Then, then they named it America after Americo Vespucci conquered it. Right. 
So now you don't even know that this is an Indian anymore when the Indians look like us. So read that. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Said the tribe of Judah, our, all 12 tribes will praise the tribe of Judah. Because what tribe does Christ come from? Judah. Christ is a Jew. He's a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. That's in the Bible. Let's go. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Read. Thy hand shall be at the neck of thine enemies. The tribe of Israel, the tribe of Judah, your hand shall be at the neck of your enemies. In order for me to grab his neck, can I be far from him? I have to be right here next to him. Where do we have a homeland to go to as a race of people, me right and now you? We don't. No. no. Now, all the other tribes, you got Puerto Ricans. They're from the tribe of Ephraim. They got a land to go to. You have the Mexicans. They're from the tribe of Issachar. They have a land to go to called Mexico. Right. You have uh, 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 Dominicans. They're tribe of Simeon. They can go back to the Dominican Republic. You have the tribe of Levi. They are the Haitians. They can go to Haiti. Where do we go? We no live way. right here no next way. to our oppressor. Right. God said we would be right there next to them. And he said our hands will do what? Thy hand shall be at the neck of thine enemies. Because think of Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. Think of all the movement, Denmark Vesey. All of them rose up right here in the land of the enemy with their hand in their necks fighting for the freedom of their people. That's what we doing. The tribe of Judah will be always against their oppressor, and we will fight always. Right. And that's what we were, and that's who we are today. Read. Thy father's children. Can you name anybody else that was doing that in America that don't have a land to go to? You Only our people. Yeah. So we're reading about our tribe, but we're going to read on, read on. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Why will our father's children bow down? Let's get Zechariah. As to why Judah? Because we're supposed to, we're going to wake up all the other 12 tribes. That's our job. You know where it's at? Okay, let's get it. We're going to read it because that's what, this is what the Bible is about. It's about showing you, you know you an Israelite. When you leave today, you'll know I am from the tribe of Judah. That's me. And no one will ever be able to tell you different because God said so. Right. Read that. The book of Zechariah, chapter 12, verse 7. How y'all doing, family? Y'all so-called African-American? We're reading about y'all in the Bible. Read. The Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first. We will wake up first. And it's our job to teach everybody else, all the other 12 tribes. And what do you think we're doing? <laughs> we're not just in, in Charleston. This is only six of us. It's thousands of us, and we all over America right now. Right. We all overseas right now. We teach this all over the world. We have schools all over the world. Read on. That the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Because David was from the tribe of Judah, King David. Y'all are related to King David in the Bible. Y'all are related to King Solomon in the Bible. Christ was the, uh, the great, great grandson of King Solomon and King David. Right. So the literal blood that's in y'all veins is the same that's in the Bible of Christ. But we don't know that and we walk around thinking everybody's equal. Everybody's the same and no one's any different. They just picked us up and put us in slavery and that's okay. That's not okay because they put the children of God in slavery and God said this place must burn for it. Is that it on that script? Because the Jerusalem will be your northern kingdom, which is where he come from. The northern kingdom. Read on. Do not magnify themselves against Judah. And the reason why we will wake up first is so that the northern kingdom would not fight against us no more. Because ain't it black and Hispanic uh, uh, gangs killing each other today? Yeah. God said we will wake up first and go to them so that this will stop and slow down. And ain't going to stop completely because God only want one third of our people to wake up. Right. Only one third. That's it. You don't need everybody. Go back to Genesis. Is that in on Genesis? Finish that up. Verse 8 again. Yep. The book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 8. Read. Judah, thou art he whom thy brother shall praise. Because we will wake up first and wake up everybody else, and then they would then be like, you know what? They, kept, they helped us find out who we are. Why would we fight them anymore? They will stop. Read on. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Our hands is at the neck of our enemies. Still to this day, we still fighting for our rights, for our people, for our freedom. Read. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Christ came out of the same tribe. Read on. 
Judah is a lion's whelp. We are a lion's whelp. We are the lion. That's why Judah is the Judah of lion, the lion of Judah. Read. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. From the prey we're going to, because when a lion is hunting, they fight. That's who we used to be during all the black movements. What movements can you say are happening now with our people? They're all dead. They're all dead. So what's happened? Read this now. He stooped down and he couched as a lion uh -huh. and as an old lion. Now we've become a old lion. Why? Why are we not fighting now? Huh? Grass eating lions. Grass eating lions? Before? Let's before? see. Give me Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. I'm going to show you why we don't fight no more. Because we get, so they give us trinkets. certain benefits and trink, trinkets. There you go. I like that name. I like that term better. They give us trinkets. And our people go to sleep because of it. Read it. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 7. Let's see. No. Read. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Our oppression makes a wise man mad. We're not supposed to be happy being oppressed. God said to be wise, you will be angry at it. But what happened? And a gift. Somebody will give us a gift. The trinkets that he's talking about. The trinkets that you're talking about. Read. And a gift destroyeth the heart. Now our minds are destroyed now. Now we sleep. So they give you a holiday. Now they give us, they give us a holiday. You go and cook out. Today is Juneteenth. Yeah. So they gave us a holiday to celebrate them allowing us to be free. Yeah. Think of how that sounds. That, sound crazy. that sounds absolutely nuts. We celebrating, uh, we celebrating them allowing us to be free. That's why they laugh at us. I would laugh. I, I'm disappointed in us. Yes, sir. Y'all are from the tribe of Judah. Now you yeah. understand that out of the Bible. Y'all are the real Jews. Amen. Jews are black in the Bible. Right. That's Appreciate what God you. says. So make sure y'all read the flyer. On the back of the flyer is an address and a phone number. Anytime, call it. We, have, we don't charge no money for this. We funded ourselves because we want our people to know the truth about who they are because if we don't, this will continue to happen. The holidays that they give us the trinkets will continue to put us to sleep. And the fact that the, the, uh, uh, the, all the deaths that happen by the police and they get away, they're gonna keep happening. It's written in the Bible as a curse that they would kill us and get away with it. Right. But no one reads that out of the Bible. Give me that in Zechariah. I'm gonna read this one thing and then you know what I mean? Let me read this one you, thing. Bro. Just to prove this. We got to prove it that that's in the Bible that we would get killed and they would not be guilty. And it happens all the time now. But we go march instead of going to the Bible. When God said, I'm doing this to you until you come to me. Just like that's your son. Yeah. If he do wrong, what happens? You, you got there and right. If you don't, God says you in sin if you don't correct them. Yeah. So we get on our children, but we're the sons and daughters of God. And we don't think he gonna punish us? Bring it out. Read that. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11, verse five. This is written in the Bible. They tell you don't read the Old Testament because if you do, you'll find out really who you are. If you just start, if you've never read a book and started three quarters of the way at the end, never. You always start at the beginning to learn the whole Bible or the whole book, any book. Why they tell us don't read the whole Old Testament when the New Testament is a summary of the Old. When Christ walked the earth, wasn't no New Testament written. He read and taught out of the Old Testament. So why they tell us not to read what Christ taught? Right. That's crazy. That's crazy. And they teach that here in Charleston. Come up, my sisters. Read that. Listen to this right here. Read. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11, verse 5. Read. Whose possessors? Our possessors. We're still in the hand of them. Read on. Slay them. They kill us. Read. And hold themselves not guilty. They are not guilty. Why would the police? that works with the judge, that works with all the parole officers say they're guilty. They hold themselves not guilty. That's in God's word. <laughs> and no one teaches, so make sure y'all read the flyer. Y'all are way more than what anybody ever told you. Brother, you are the king of the earth, right. period. You are the king of the earth. The only reason the sun is in the sky is because me and you are standing on it. If none of our people was here, it wouldn't be no reason for God to create the earth. That's in the Bible. The only reason why the stars exist, the only reason why the moon exists, the sun, the earth, the ocean, is because he created Israelites to inhabit and rule the earth. Right. But we decided to go against our God. Now we in slavery. So make sure y'all read that thing. Right, yes, sir. Read that again. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11, verse 5. Read. Whose possessors? Slay them. Because that's what happens. 
You get Dylan Roof go in the church and shoot up our people. Uh -huh. And hold themselves not guilty. Why he don't get the electric chair like we would get? He's not guilty. The man was taken to get a burger to get a sandwich after killing a, committing a mass murder. Or you got Freddie Gray, Tamir Rice. All of them was put to death and the people that killed them did what? Who possessors slay them uh -huh. and hold themselves not guilty. And y'all hold yourselves not guilty. But you say this is a land of equal opportunity, not for me. Not for you and not for me. Because what's your race, brother, if I had to ask you? What is your race? My race? Yes. You are an Israelite from what tribe? That's a perfect answer because that's who you are. You're the real Jew. Thank you. Benjamin, you're Jamaican or African, so called African American? So you're from the tribe of Judah because Benjamin would be Jamaican or the islands. Oh, praise it. So listen, so you got a flyer. What should we be doing then? Say that again. What? Ask me. All of us standing here, we know we Israel. Mm -hmm. He just found, well, he knows he's Israel, but he just found out today what tribe he's from. So what must we do as a race of people? You need to walk in your purpose. And what's the purpose? To walk in whatever God has called you individually for your purpose. Okay, can I read our purpose? Let's get it. Ecclesiastes. Uh huh. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Listen up, so called black man and black woman. Let it, us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. The only reason we was born, the only reason the earth was created, was so we could do what? Fear God. Fear God's judgment. One of those judgments was slavery on slave ships because we did not do what he said. He said that was going to happen. Now it happened. Now, let me ask you a question on yes, that. You gotta go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gonna finish. I got somebody. Oh, it's just a second. But then you might let me read this, let me read this. Let me read this real fast for you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead. Because everyone keeps saying that we betray God, we betray his promise, is that what it is? And if so, what is that? What do what do we do to betray him to end up like this? That's a great answer. That's a great question. Read that in Ecclesiastes, finish it for him. You didn't listen to what he told us to do. Oh, praise you. We're going to read what he just said. That's the answer. That's, that's but we're going to read it. Read that. Let's see our purpose. Finish it for him. Fear God and keep his commandments. The conclusion of the matter, the only reason you was born is to fear God and keep the commandments. Read on. For this, for this is the whole duty of man. The whole reason of living. So do we now, stop I will say this. No, do we? Say yes, this we did. Because I do need yes, to go. Yes, we did. Yeah. But Don't give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. If you adhere to his word in 28. Well, we can read. I'm going to read it. Read it to him. I know. We are. If you read it, now there's you, some blessings that come with you. If we do what he, now this is as a nation. As a nation, it said Israel. It didn't say individually. Individual. Melik, Jerem, Yah and I, Aton. It said Israel as a nation. This, but if the whole nation, you, you can't control the whole people. nation will do it though. You can't control other people. Now, I did, gotta go, did God bro. say that one third of our people would? We don't need all exactly. of them. Exactly. Okay, we ain't looking for all of them. We only want the ones that want to do it. Because if you don't want to do it, then how can we walk together? So let me ask you a question. Hey, we're going to read that. So let me ask you a question. So now, yeah, yes, sir. So now, so let me ask you a question. Okay, so since we only, so like, we only need one third, so like we got 99 people. We only need 33 of them. Absolutely. Right? So when we get that one third, until we get that one third, everybody continues to be suffering until that one third comes about. Are we going to suffer now? There are certain things that we don't have to worry about. There is certain things. Right. Because God about. is protecting us. Absolutely. Okay. But. But at the same time, as a race, do we just say, well, I'm good? I can't just say that. Right. If I thought it was just me, there's no reason I would stand here and talk to you. Oh, that makes sense. You see what I'm saying? There's like no reason it. because God told us to, matter of fact, let's get that in Luke. Luke, Ezekiel 3. Now let's go Luke because that's New Testament. Like people, because people like to say, well, they read the whole Old Testament. You're right. We read everything. But Luke says the same thing is said in the Old Testament. The exact same thing. What are we supposed to do? Read that 14. Luke 14. Yep. Let's see why why we come here. It's a commandment for me to be out here, just like it's a commandment for me not to break the Sabbath. True. It's a commandment for me not to kill nobody. It's a commandment for me not to steal. This is a commandment for me. Read that. The book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 23. Read. And the Lord said unto the servant. Uh-huh, to the servant. We're God's servants. Read on. Go out into the highways and hedges. That's where we at. Read. And compel them to come in. Compel them to come in. That's what I'm trying to do. Compel you to come follow God. We, we have a location where you can learn. We have a phone number. We have website. All of it is for free. We will spoon feed it to you to make sure you get it. Read. That my house 
may be filled. It is going to be filled to what God said. God commanded us to come and teach the people so they come in and repent. Same thing he said in the Old Testament over and over and over again. Now we're doing it and it's written in the new. It's no different. So that's what we must do. Deuteronomy 28, 15, just to read what the brother told him so he'll know that that's in the Bible why, why it happened to us. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Read. You know, but it shall come to pass. It's going to happen in your future. Moses is talking to us in the wilderness. After we come out of Egypt, he said it will come to pass. After the wandering. After the wandering when he gave us the commandments. Read on. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Read. To observe, to do. All his commandments. So if we don't do the commandments, Moses went up to the mountain, got the commandments, came down, gave them to us. If y'all don't do this, this is going to happen. So up oh. until the, the commandments was written and broken, we weren't in I mean, this, this We was good. He gave us everything. Remember, we was in the wilderness for 40 right, years. Right. Did we have jobs? Yeah, so who was giving us food? Yeah, 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 God gave us manna. manna. It dropped yeah. out of the sky and it tasted however we wanted it to taste. Oh, and right. we chose, that's in the Bible. Yeah. We chose, I don't want that manna. I'm going to go and break the Sabbath. No. Oh. I'm going to go and worship another God. Okay. So when they asked for the king, when they, when they said they wanted the king to worship, or they uh -huh. wanted the king to lead them. Yeah. That's when God they, was like, it was supposed to be him. God but because did. we asked, he put Saul over. He said, this king is going to tax you. He's going to take your children and put them in armies. That's now look answer. at us. That's my answer. Okay. I, I totally get it, man. So, so we're going to read honest. the rest of it. I, just I, I've book. asked that before, and I've never really even got the answer. Well, there you before, go. It's bro. not hard. Yeah, we right. got the Bible. The Bible got the answers, and we're going to give it to our people. Read that. To observe, to do all his commandments. You got to do the commandments. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So because we didn't do it, now the curses happen. The curses now was our our history, right? Because in slavery, our women was raped, our children was sold, we was put to work, we was whipped. They they came right over now. top, and we on the bottom, and it's still like that today. I got you. All right. Yes, oh, praise! Well, you got the flyer, you, Lord willing, we hear from you. What's your name one more time? Chloe. Chloe. See Chloe, I'm Aton, man. All right, Aton. Nice, hey, nice to meet you, bro. Lord willing, we hear from you. All right. All right. Let's get that in Matthew 26. Let's read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 6. Uh -huh. Read out. Now when Jesus was in Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper. So we're reading about Christ right before he went to be put to death for the children of Israel. Read. There came unto him a woman having an alabaster box. So the woman came to him and she had an alabaster box. Read. A very precious ointment. Read. And poured it on his head. So she poured this ointment on Christ's head. She anointed Christ's head. Read on. As he sat at me. Uh-huh. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? So the prophets asked, To what purpose is this waste? This waste. We don't credit you don't want to hear the Bible. Right. We ain't reading it to you anyway. Right. We reading it to our people. Right. Read. For this is the ointment that might have been sold for much. Because God, the, the, the disciples said that ointment could have been sold for much. Well, put ear plugs in your ears. Read. And given to the poor. Because the, they, they wanted to sell it for money and give it to the poor. Read. When Jesus understood it. But Christ understood what happened. And let's see what he said to the woman and to the men. Read. He said unto them. Why trouble ye the woman? He said, why are y'all messing with this woman? Read on. For she have wrought a good work upon me. She had done a good thing upon Christ by anointing his head. Why? For ye have the poor always with you. Read. But ye have not me always. Because God, Christ was finna go and die for his people, the Israelites. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's, That's right. what he was about to go do, and she understood it. Right. So she anointed his head because he was not going to get a righteous burial. Right. He was put on a, cry, on a cross for treason when he did nothing wrong to nobody. Read. For in that she had poured this ointment on my body. She did it for my burial. This woman did this for Christ's burial. She did it for his burial. And because of that, Christ said to do this. Read. Verily, I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world. So wherever we teach the good news, 
That's what gospel means. Good news. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, y'all are the real Jews. Yes, y'all are the Israelites. The only people Christ coming back for is you. Right, right. That's good news. Read. There shall also this that this woman have done be told for a memorial of her. And that's a commandment out of the Bible. Wherever you teach the Bible, you must read that about that woman. If you don't, you did not do what Christ said. Right. right. Therefore, you're not keeping the commandments. Our people think they know the Bible and you don't. Nobody knows it like we do. That's right. All these churches in the city lie to our people. So with that, we have a school in Columbia, South Carolina, but we down here in Charleston as well. 1823 Greg Street, Columbia, South Carolina. We have a website, israelunite.org. Classes all day, every day for free. We don't charge like a pastor do. God said it's freely given. So we must freely give it to everybody else. Right. So a no pastor should ever get paid to teach the Bible. Right. Not one. Right. So with that, we say shalom. Men of Israel, sons of God. Patient, saints, sons of God. Who's the king? Christ. Who's the king? Christ. Who's the king? Christ. The black Messiah. That's right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth